The other big story today, just minutes ago, Governor Cooper declared a state of emergency to temporarily suspend some gasoline regulations, making sure the state has an adequate supply. This is in response to that cyber attack on Colonial Pipeline, which is raising concerns about supply and prices. Some oil and gas experts are worried we might even see $3 a gallon of gas soon. You've likely heard this attack is impacting supply along the East Coast. We have team coverage tonight. Let's start with two wants to know is Ben Briscoe, who is live in Greensboro, looking at the potential impact on your wallet. Ben. So if you've ever gone to the Piedmont Triad Farmers Market, then you passed right by those storage tanks for Colonial Pipeline. From here, gas is shipped out all across our area. Tonight, it's this system that's under attack. This is probably going to push your buttons. Gas prices could be going up in the triad because of cyber criminals all the way over in Moscow. Investigators believe a Russian gang hacked into Colonial Pipeline system and is holding the company for ransom, shutting down their main pipelines until the company pays a big fee, leaving some drivers worried. Gotta be able to get fuel. <clears throat> the country relies on it. The Colonial Pipeline runs right through the triad, transporting more than 100 million gallons of gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and home heating oil every day. That's 45% of all the gas used on the East Coast. Enough to make a big dent in supply, according to Chris Krebs, a former director of Homeland Security Cyber and Infrastructure Security Agency. In the course of the, the next few days, uh, that, that could start getting, um, you, know, you could see local stocks uh, start running a little bit lower. Adding fuel to the concern, the last time Colonial Pipeline had to shut down in 2016 for weeks because of a leak in the pipe, gas prices shot up by more than 30 cents per gallon. But to be clear, the White House said today the Colonial Pipeline attack has not hurt supply yet. Right now, there is not a supply shortage. We are preparing for multiple possible contingencies because that's our job. For now, it is a waiting game. Here's what they say. Experts believe that Colonial has enough supplies left, like in the tanks you see behind me, to make it through the end of the week without a problem. But the longer this attack goes on, the higher those gas prices could go.